Hey guys, what's going on? Angela Montañez here. So I have to hold this camera <laughs> because I don't have a stand in front of me right now. But, oh my God, tomorrow is December 1st and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the, the moon that is approaching, if it is the um, retrograde that is um, approaching. It's just obviously right communication is off and everything is just off it's just off you see I'm off I don't even know what to say at this point but everything is just off and um I, I scheduled some appointments off off <laughs> I scheduled an appointment for 11 a.m like a week or two ago for some reason I kept thinking seven 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 like I kept seeing sevens everywhere when I looked at my calendar it said seven I thought it said seven and then they call me a half an hour before the appointment and they say no it's not seven it's eleven I'm like why was I intent on seven so everything that I planned today just kinda went to shit pretty much and um, that was a little frustrating and um, so it's just been that kind of day, you know, and I'm in a reflective, I'm going to switch hands here. I'm in a reflective state of mind when it comes to, um, when it comes to everything. I've been dredging and dredging and dredging along, working on my, uh, my fitness fashion blog, Basic Bitch Style. I don't know. I'm just... I don't like to feel like I'm forcing things. I am the patient, steadfast, calm Taurus. And I'm not going to lie, I I am lazy enough only for Shavasana when it comes to working out. <laughs> I work I I tell you I work hard. I work it's it's an everyday thing. I work hard with my health. Um you know, I feel bad when I'm eating pecan pie that I've only had one beet juice today. It's, it's a struggle. I think that, I think anybody that makes it seem like it's not difficult, they're lying. <laughs> I can't even lie to you about that. Switching hands again. This thing is a little heavy. But I can't even lie to you about that. Anybody that makes it seem like it's easy they are lying to you because it's so not easy you have your cravings you have the things that you you want the things that you loved before you stopped eating them it's just you figure out a way to balance that for your body you know so if you had too much sugar you'll probably on another couple days end up eating too much salt and you're trying to find this balance and at a certain point you realize you know what i'm playing a really dangerous game i think i'm just gonna start adding celery to my juices so i don't <laughs> i don't go through these things you just learn how to manage i should say you learn how to manage it you learn how to listen to your body um and you realize what it needs and why you're on these roller coasters um and uh, some of it is emotional and mental as well you know so it's just like i said i don't know if it's the moon i don't know if it's the retrograde i just know that things are off my communication is off um i'm also i'm also moody i'm in just mood where i'm just like now let's be real you know because i can talk to you guys right for what is that for a couple of years couple just a couple <laughs> i focused on coaching i focused on health coaching um and that that really felt like a struggle and it felt like a struggle because i was meeting a lot of people that needed a lot of help and the thing about people that need a lot of help is that they don't necessarily have a lot of money or they don't have a lot of money to spend in in that area of coaching and so that didn't really work out well you know another thing is that i am a medium psychic you know intuitive hashtag call me whatever i really don't care and um and so that that tends to play a part in how I coach other people, how I talk to other people, how I interact with other people, because it's constant, you know, it's, it's, um, 
I'll, I'll be having a regular dialogue about fashion and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, oh yeah, there goes your grandpa. <laughs> there he goes, you know. Um, and they have messages switching arms again. Oh my God, this is a little rough. And they have messages, you know, and they have things that they want to share with people. And not everybody is really open to that. Um, so I think it's just a day of contemplation, I should say. I'm in a very heavily contemplative state right now. Um, I'm in a place where I just feel like I don't want to do what everybody else does. You, you ever been at that place you don't want to do what everybody else does? You're like, I'm not about this life. I... I don't want my value to be dependent upon my popularity. And I'll say that again. I don't want my value to be dependent upon my popularity, my follower count, how the world feels about me, you know? Because I think that I fought so hard, we fought so hard, everyone has fought so hard. Switching hands again. <laughs> Everyone has fought so hard um, to really come into their own and to really um, carve out something that comes from their soul that is a gift that cannot be copied, should not be compared. And, you know, the, I mean, your thumbprint is completely different than anybody else's thumbprint, right? So that's, that's indicative of you being being a soul that is completely different, you know, and to be compared to everyone else and the, the work that comes out of your soul, it can be really, really frustrating. And it makes you feel like I'm just done. I'm just done. <laughs> you know, you, you create and you put things out there because you are looking for people that are going to appreciate it, that that's going to uh, really connect with it not so that people can judge you and either decide that you are worth taking a look at because you're popular or not or because you have a high follower count or not like I don't believe that your life your life is dependent upon that I don't believe your life should be dependent upon that I don't believe that anyone is more than anyone else you see what I'm saying I think everybody offers something unique something beautiful um, and something that is valuable you know so that's the state I'm in today <laughs> very contemplative um, my arms are killing me I don't know how people do this switching arms and I'm just in that state you know and that's kind of Kind of how I'm feeling. I'm wondering if anybody else is in this mindset today. If you feel, um, if you have your communication off with other people, if you feel like hmm, something's off in the air today, everything feels off, um, times are off, it's probably a good idea <laughs> not to be too wordy at this point, um, not to talk to many people. And I'm going to talk like I completely scheduled a networking event tonight. So I'm just going to mums the word, less of that, more of this. And um, I'm just going to kind of chillax and meet people and listen. I'm going to do a lot of listening. And um, yeah, so I think from now <laughs> until almost Christmas would be a great time to just kind of go with the flow and uh, see how things unfold. So I'm interested to hear from you guys. So let me know if you're going through the same thing, if you feel the same way, if you're just kind of in this space where you're like, oh, I'm so tired of feeling like I'm in a race or I'm in a competition or I don't have a high follower account and that, you know, maybe has weight on you a bit and you just feel like I'm worth more than that or people need to understand I'm worth more than that. Like, I get you, I get you, I get you let me know <laughs> let me know because I don't want to feel like I'm by myself in this you know I want to feel like I there are people 
that are interested in what I have to offer and what what I can offer you know sometimes I don't even I, I don't completely know what that is because I do so many things and I think that's the problem when you do so many things you're constantly figuring out how you can kind of bring it all together like I said I'm a medium and and um, I work with not only spirits um, I work in the health field as well. I do uh, fitness and yoga and nutrition. Um, and I'm always trying to kind of bring all that together. I love crystals. I love rocks. I love water. I mean, I'm a very, I'm a nature person. I'm a Taurus. I have plants all around my room. Um, and it's like I'm reading everything. Everything has an energy. So I'm just kind of reading everything. I read spaces. I read um, everything because everything has an energy that's constantly flowing and it everything has a message you know so I'm constantly learning how to bring all of this together and I'm still learning that I'm still learning that I haven't figured it out conclusively but I am still learning that but let me know let me know if you're kind of in a similar space <coughs> excuse me if you're kind of in a similar space or if I'm totally bonkers in this by myself, people, let me know. And uh, happy Thursday. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video.